Welcome to the Still Life Light Painting tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create stuff like this. So this is everything I'm gonna use today for creating an abstract Still Life Light Painting. I bought a couple of fruits, cypron, paprika, banana, a bottle of vodka, and I have a couple of LED single bulbs with knob batteries, duct tape to mount the battery to the LED that it stays permanently on. I have a golden mirror foil to create a solid ground for reflections, the glass cleaner to mount that foil. And additionally, I have two different torches, a small one with a red filter on it, as you can see, it has a soft spot, or when you shift the focus, it gets a square spot. So basically, simply by shifting from front to back, you change the way it looks. So basically, that's gonna be the setup. I have two different versions. Here is a solid ground plate, and underneath, there is a glass table to light up the bottle from underneath. So let's see what we can get out of it. So I have set everything up. Now here is a side table, which is out of the camera view, which gives me easy control to grab the right light. Make sure your setup is stable. Once we've fixed it, I can take a picture with my camera. Camera is now a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 100 millimeter macro lens. I've set the camera setting here on bulb mode, so I can trigger it with the remote control. The remote control has two seconds pre-run, which is shown here. And as well, I have 100 ISO on bulb mode set, aperture on 5.6. And I'm gonna take the focus on daylight, which makes sense, because then you have a crispy, clear, sharp image, even if you switch the lights off. So let's see what happens in the darkness. Slowly behind, light the object up, going around and making a twirl. Finished. Now I've moved my camera higher, so I get everything inside the focus, inclusive the reflection ground. So first light up the scene from the front. Then going behind the object, slowly moving, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and out. So let's see what we got. A little cut piece from a cypress. Let's keep it like a U bracket. Going into the scene, stay behind the object, go out and straight forward. Just with a regular colored gel. So I've cut it out two slices. Simply put that around the LED and fix it with duct tape. The red torch underneath. So it's gonna light up the bottle in a red light, which looks quite nice. So this is how the setup looks like. Simple but effective. And once we switch the light off, let's see what happens. If you want to take focus, simply take a torch and light up the scene. Switch that off again and we are ready to go. Before I press the remote control, I simply have the torch now for a couple of seconds then going down, making the first trails around the object and going out of the camera. Now let's change 
it that the bottle gets white from underneath pointing up directly into the bottle one little LED bulb behind that single one and the two color gelled LED bulbs to twirl around the object like that you get a white yellowish thing which is cool let's see how that looks and one time around it and again do the magic it looks almost like a frosty shape because it's a milky glass if you find a bottle that has more polygons inside you're gonna get some really nice refractions and again, use the light, simply going up, out of the scene, coming from the front, hide it with the second hand and simply light up the cypress fruits and off. So I try not to touch the glass ground, I already have a swing on it when I start the photo. Okay, now one more time. First, light up the front with the single white LED. Hide it with the second hand. Make sure as I'm shooting from above that there is a bit of light. I want the torch on the bottom to be off. So the exposure becomes more interesting depth. Yeah, it's going in the right direction.